Good morning. Happy Monday. We'll wait a couple of minutes and let everybody turn her off. We don't need to hear her in the background. My computer will update here in a minute and I'll be able to tell who's joining us, hopefully. It's running slow. There's Kim. Now it's working. Good morning, Linda. I hope y'all had a good weekend. I was on the road all day yesterday with my husband. We were in church in the Houston area and we're driving back yesterday afternoon. So, um, and I realized last night when I got home and went to take my rings off that I didn't drink enough water yesterday because they were really tight. So I'm going to be chug-a-lugging today. I hope you had a good weekend. Um, I'm going to jump right in and because uh, I have a lot to cover this morning. And I know that people will be coming in for the next few minutes. But this will be available um, online anytime by going to our Facebook group and then to the video section, which is on the left side, and just look for my face. Um, they also end up on our YouTube page, which if you're not a subscriber to that, you can go to YouTube and search Weight Watchers Over 50 and find us there. It takes a couple of three days to get them moved over to YouTube, but if you go there and subscribe, every time a new video is added, you'll get um, an email alerting you to that fact. Um, we added a feature to our group this week that I'm really excited about. It's called Marketplace, and it's only available to members of our Weight Watchers group, and um, you can find it. Um, by going to the group and you'll find the link and if not just ask and somebody will share it with you. Um, we have so many members who are crafty and um, especially with the holidays coming up I thought what a great idea to give them a place to share those homemade crafts so that maybe they could make a little extra money before the holidays and would give you an opportunity to buy something handmade and to help a friend out. The other thing I'd like us to use that group for is many of us have outgrown, shrunk um, our clothes and uh, would like to see them benefit someone else. And since many of us are changing in size pretty frequently, it's hard to go pay retail for good clothes. So if you have some clothes that you're willing to sell, um, preferably inexpensively, or if you have some clothes that you would be willing to donate to someone, you can post it on Marketplace. The details are between you. Um, the group has no responsibility for it. Um, you can choose to use PayPal or have them mail you a check or a money order. That's totally up to you. We're not going to monitor that. We're not going to run it. We're not going to have anything to do with it. It's just a, a place. My sister-in-law just posted, I'll take all of yours. You probably have the same thing I have because we shop at the same store. But um, anyway, I just thought it would be a, a good spot for us to share that with one another. And, and what a blessing that would be. Um, for someone who's needing some clothes and just doesn't have the resources to go buy a new wardrobe right now. So be sure and use Marketplace. Now the only rule we have there is we do not allow selling of multi-level um, items and um, there are several reasons for that but the most important reason is we have over 80,000 members. If we allowed that um, we would be overtaken by folks joining our group solely to sell you something and we're not going to do that. That's been our, that's been our rule from day one and that's going to continue. So uh, please don't post anything like that. Um, don't post links to your personal um, 
page where you sell things. Um, we're going to try this marketplace for the month of August and see how it works. And as long as we don't have problems like that, then we'll keep it going. So I just ask that you follow those very, very simple and very um, small rules. Um, okay, that's it on marketplace. I told you yesterday, excuse me, I told you yesterday that I was going to talk about the blame game. And um, we've all played this game, and some of us continue to play it. Um, some of us play it more often than we should. But I thought we might talk about some of the um, excuses, maybe some of the places that we place blame for our stall or our slow loss or our no loss or even our gains. Um, so let's jump in and feel free to comment. I'm watching my phone, so I'll try to grab yours, your ideas too. Um, one is uh, portion sizes. Um, we blame maybe a slight gain or a slow loss or a no loss on um, um, What, do we, what am I trying to say? Y'all have to forgive me. The, this past week and this coming week, my brain is not in a good place. Um, in, we look at our portions and we tell ourselves um, that, that's, that's a, a good size. That's a good amount. That's about three ounces. That's about half a cup. Or it was just a bite. Or um, I just took a little taste of it. A portion has to be an accurate portion in order to track it accurately. And so uh, too often I've seen um, folks come in and they'll share their discouragement with me and um, I'll look at their tracker or I'll talk to them about what they're eating and realize that they're no longer weighing or they're no longer measuring, they are now relying on their eyeball. And that's deceitful. Um, I, I remember, I think I told y'all one time, I was watching Rachel Ray's program one morning and she measures her spices in her hand. And she, you know, somebody said, are you sure? And so she transferred the salt over to she said it was a quarter teaspoon and she transferred it over and lo and behold it was. But you know what, she's a professional chef. She does that many, 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 many times a day. We don't. Um, uh, we have to check ourselves every now and then. I'm not saying that you need to necessarily, or you have to necessarily weigh or measure every single thing you put in your mouth. I will tell you though, if you're not losing or if you hit a stall, um, that would be the first thing I would check is your portion sizes. Um, you can't blame them if you're not positive that's what it is. Um, Jill said all diets or weight loss programs, there's a stall. It's true, your body has to adapt. Um, so you'll go through cycles and you're not going to lose every single day. Um, I've told you before, you're gonna have weeks where you don't lose. You're even gonna have weeks where you gain. And that's just how it works. But um, check your portions first. Weigh it, measure it, okay? And then here's another one. I don't need to track. Well, you need to track if you want to lose. Some of us track on paper. Some of us track on the app. Uh, some of us track in our mind, and if you can do that accurately, fine. But if you're not seeing progress, then you may not be as accurate as you thought you were. So um, check your tracking, okay? So we're checking our portions. We're not gonna blame those. We're gonna check our tracking. We're not gonna blame that. How about this one? I just have bad genes. It's, it's my mother's fault, it's my father's fault, um, my family, all of the women in my family are overweight. Um, 
you know, it, it's just in my DNA, there's nothing I can do about it. Well, there are some conditions that are genetic and there may be, um, there may be a little bit of truth to that, but I don't really think that we can say, um, because my mother was overweight, I'm just destined to be overweight any more than we could say because my mother was a um, mean, hateful person, I'm going to be a mean, hateful person and I just can't help it. Um, it may just mean that you have to be more aware. Um, it doesn't mean that it's genetically impossible for you to be a healthy weight. It may take more effort, but you can't use that as an excuse to not be in control of what you eat. Not good. We're going to take that one off of the, the, the table. This one we use a lot and it's way overused. Um, emotional eating. We blame our weight gain on emotional eating. How about this? This is going to sound um, maybe a little extreme, but you'll get it. My neighbor's cousin's dog was run over and killed, and I found myself eating the three bags of Oreo cookies that were in the pantry. First of all, you shouldn't have had three bags of Oreos in the pantry if Oreos are something that you turn to when you're dealing with emotions. That one sounds a little extreme, don't you think? What about the ones like, my husband hurt my feelings, or Weight Watchers made a change that I don't agree with and I don't understand, so I'm catching myself going to the kitchen and eating when I know I shouldn't be. We all deal with those emotions, believe me. This weekend, and I'm sure this coming week, I will be battling emotions like I probably haven't in years. Um, I am, am trying really hard to stay positive and not let fear um, have a place in my emotions right now, but what I will not do is turn to food. And here's why. The circumstances that I'm dealing with and the circumstances that you're dealing with, food isn't going to change it. It isn't gonna make it any better. It isn't gonna make it go away. It isn't going to change the road that you're on. Uh, it isn't going to change a diagnosis. It isn't going to change a hateful spouse. It isn't going to change a child who didn't call you on your birthday. It isn't going to change the fact that maybe you had a death in your family. Food isn't the answer. All food will do is um, maybe numb the emotion that you're dealing with temporarily. But when that numbness wears off, you're gonna be dealing now with the original pain, the original fear, the original hurt feeling, and guilt because you let yourself down, and guilt because you weren't in control, and guilt because now you're worried about having a gain at weigh-in this week. Food isn't the answer. Trust me, if food was the answer, I would be eating my weight in cookies or ice cream or you know something like that over the last few days and the coming few days. But food can't change the mountain that you're facing. Um, you're gonna have to find another way to deal with that. So we're gonna take um, emotions off the table. We don't eat for emotions. We also don't eat to reward ourselves. We need to learn to reward ourselves with something other than what goes in our mouth. 
we started this, I think, and I'm guilty of it too, um, when our, we're children, you know, oh, you did a great job, you had a good report card, here's an ice cream. Or, oh, you fell down and skinned your knee, I'm so sorry, here's a cookie. Or, I love when my children and my grandchildren come over. I love cooking for them. I'm trying really, really hard to learn that I can cook for them and it still be healthy. They're not coming to my house every time to um, eat really bad food. They're coming for the pleasure and the joy of being together as a family. And we can have just as much fun eating healthy food as we do eating the unhealthy food. Now, I'm not telling you at Christmas and Thanksgiving and birthdays, you know, you can't have cake or you can't have pumpkin pie or that kind of thing, but every time we get together isn't Thanksgiving. So let's start rewarding ourselves, especially, and our children and our grandchildren with something besides food. Let's break that cycle. Let's don't blame that anymore. So we're going to take that one off the table. Um, I, I read a quote this morning that I want to share with you. It said, blame always betrays us. Blame always betrays us. As long as we're willing to blame our decisions, our actions, our omissions on someone else or something else, it's going to come back on us. We have to own it. We have to face it and we have to fix it. Own it, acknowledge what it is. I didn't track, I didn't measure that food. I didn't eat what I was supposed to eat. I didn't um, make a good decision in what I ate this weekend. I didn't take the time to pre-plan, pack, prepare, track my food. I didn't stop when I was satisfied. I didn't say no to that dessert that I really didn't need or want. Um, I didn't take healthy food with me on the road this weekend. I didn't drink enough water. Do you see the common denominator in all of those? It's me. I have to own it. I have to face it and I have to fix it. I can't wait on anyone else to do that. You can't wait on anyone else to do that. We're the only ones who can take control of this and turn it around if it's going in the wrong direction. Progress is impossible without change. We don't like change. The older I get, the less I like it. I like to be in control of my day. I work off of a to-do list. Um, I don't like things that, that throw my world into a tailspin, but I'm learning very slowly and very painfully sometimes that um, change is going to come. I just have to change my mind, I have to change how I deal with it and how I accept it. Weight Watchers has made a few changes lately and, and you know, some folks have kind of been just thrown into a upheaval over these small changes. Um, I did a video a few weeks ago called, Is That All It Took? And I, I really wish that I could convince you to hear the minor changes that are upsetting you so greatly. Okay, I can't weigh in in my bare feet anymore. Okay, so wear socks. Easy solution. I can't, I don't get a Bravo sticker anymore from Weight Watchers. Okay, easy solution. Give yourself a star. Buy your own stickers. Put them in the back of your weigh-in book and when you're proud of something that you did that week, take one of those stickers off and put it on there. It should mean more coming from you because you know the cost of that sticker. You know what it took for you to earn it. 
I know as a leader, I've given out, I don't know how many Bravo stickers. And you know what? I couldn't remember a single one of them if you held a gun to my head right now. I couldn't tell you what somebody did to earn that sticker. But you know, put your sticker on there and write a little note. This is what I did to earn it. And then that sticker becomes so much more valuable. Um, Weight Watchers is not printing out my weight anymore on a little white rectangular piece of sticky paper and putting it in my book. Okay. So you own the responsibility for writing your weight in your book. And you know why? Because it's your progress. You be the one to own it. You be the one to write it down there. It will mean so much more to you if we take ownership for our decisions and lack of, then they mean so much more to us. The person working at Weight Watchers, sure they can write it down, but by the time you walk out of that booth and the next person walks in, they're going to have forgotten all about it. They don't know the hard work that you did all week to earn that .4 loss or greater, or they don't know the challenges that you faced this week and are very thankful that you maintained. You know that, so you write it down and write yourself a little note. Give yourself a star. Give yourself a smiley face. It will mean so much more to you coming from you. Weight Watchers gives us a lot of things, but the only thing of value that Weight Watchers gave me and I hope if you don't hear a single thing I said this, this morning, I hope you hear this. The only thing of value that Weight Watchers gave me that really, really mattered in the grand scheme of things was the knowledge that I could do it and the tools and the science to do it. But everything else is mine. The decisions were mine. The, the um, commitment was mine, the struggle was mine, the celebration was mine, the victories were mine, the, the weeks that I fell, those were mine. The days that I made bad choices, those were mine. Those aren't Weight Watchers. Weight Watchers is a corporation and their uh, corporate plan is scientific based and they share that with it, their members, but the rest of it is up to you. So you can blame Weight Watchers or you can own responsibility and make your own choices, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The blame game will get us every single time. Remember, progress is impossible if we're not willing to change. Change one thing this week. If you can't change it all, if you can't give it 100%, then change one thing this week. And next week, add another, and then another. Catch yourself this week. When you start blaming something other than you, stop, write it down. Who am I blaming? I need to own it. I need to face it and I need to fix it. I hope that makes a difference to you this week. Um, I will not do a video next Monday morning. I have uh, a biopsy at 7.30 Monday morning, so I will be at the hospital early um, and I'm positive I won't be in a frame of mind to do a video early that morning. Um, Depending on how I feel, I will either try to do one later on Monday or Tuesday morning, but I'll post online and let you know in advance so you'll know. Um, but um, I appreciate your prayers. I covet your prayers. Um, I am fully aware that um, God is always in charge of who's in charge. So um, 
while I'm trusting him and I'm confident that um, my future is securely in his hands, it doesn't mean that fear doesn't try to rear its ugly head, and it does, and it has, and I've had a few meltdowns, and I'm probably gonna have a few more this week, but that's okay. Um, God's big enough to let me do that, and my husband is kind and enough and compassionate enough to, to let me have my moments of crying, and um, it's all gonna be okay. I keep telling myself that, you keep telling me that, and um, we'll get through it together. But I appreciate your prayers so very much, and um, I, I will try to answer any of your questions. I'll, I'll watch for a minute and see if, if, if anybody has a question. Um, I talked a little bit fast, so we have a couple of minutes. Um, I've loved watching all of the crafts and things come in on Marketplace. It's just so, uh, I enjoy so much seeing what you do to keep your hands busy. And um, I love seeing that we're supporting one another. I, I would rather buy from people I know than people I don't know. So um, keep those, and if you haven't joined yet to share your craft, please be sure and do that. Um, if there's something on there that you're interested in buying, private message that person or leave a comment and they'll get back to you and work out the details between the two of you. Um, if you agree to sell something to someone, please follow through. Um, we want we want this to end up being a good thing that we can keep going, and the only way we can do that is with your help. So um, I hope you'll do that. Um, okay, I will read back over the comments during the day today and try to answer any questions that you may have. Um, other than that, I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, I hope you have a productive week, and I hope you don't play the blame game too much this week. Remember, um, own it face it and fix it. You've got responsibility. You can do it. Um, I guess that's it. I will see you on the board. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Bye everybody.